Tea Baby with <laughs> Bill O. <laughs> Hi. She does that every day. What did you yeah. think, Bill? Did you have fun? Oh, it was a blast. You know, uh, <laughs> why I haven't done this before, I just don't know. But is it still your second favorite time of your life? Second favorite time. Um, <laughs> luckily, I'm old and I can't remember the first favorite. <laughs> you said it good in Thailand earlier. So at one point during the show, just let's roll back True Confessions. Um, you said, Harris, if you want me to talk, you have to tell me to talk. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't want to be intrusive on you ladies. You know, I didn't, <laughs> didn't want to dominate. <laughs> Oh, I, I you're thought you were so... going to become someone else for a second. <laughs> I know, that was it. I, you know, I wanted the show to go smoothly. I think it went smoothly, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. This is great. I was yeah. hearing some of the tweets from people. Yeah. Yeah. They were just, like, loving it. Yeah. Was it. Did you ask them if it was painful? No, I said it wasn't too painful. Okay. We had a lot of laughs. We mm -hmm. laughed. We cried. We had a good time. We talked about your book that has now turned into a movie, movie. and it will air on Nat Geo on Sunday. How on exciting. Sunday, on right? Sunday. Right, 8 o'clock and 11. And, um, you know, we're hoping that... Um, I, I, I just want people who are non-religious. Mm -hmm. I think that's the most important audience that I would like to reach. You know, say, look, you know, this guy had something to say. The Nazarene, he had something to say. Mm -hmm. you, are there people, though, that are religious that are upset about the fact that you say that he a didn't few, do A few. You're always going to upset a few people. You know, why didn't you have him... Uh, flying up to heaven or all of this. And, you know, if they don't get it by now, they're never going to get it. Books, you know, approaching two million in sales. And wow. the movie's going to reach millions more. I read it. Congratulations. I it all right, this from the live chat. Arizona 63 says, could you please ask Bill if the killing books will ever be in paperback? You know, they sell so well that there isn't any uh, economic benefit to put them in paperback. Mm -hmm. All of them uh, are still selling in hardback, including Killing Lincoln, my first one. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be a new one uh, in September, and we will announce that in May. Are you killing someone else? Uh-huh. And this is going to be a real controversial book, because mm -hmm. I'm almost finished with it now. Martin Dugard and I are almost finished with it. And so when did you come up with this killing idea? Did it, like, come to you yeah. in the dark of night? You know, yes. I said this on 60 Minutes, that all of my... Um, success has come to me in the middle of the night. Huh, is that true? I didn't you know, know that. Uh, the O'Reilly Factor, I was up at Harvard huh. at the Kennedy School, and one night it just like popped into my mind, you know, you need to do a commentary show in prime time, and the Factor was born up in Cambridge. And then after I had written nine number one bestsellers on contemporary things, uh -huh. mm -hmm. old fresh piece of humanity, that kind of stuff, yeah. um, they, they, I had signed to do another book. Bullfresh 2, The Factor Years, and I said, I'm repeating myself here. And then I was asleep one night, and Abraham Lincoln's uh, visage pops into my mind. Wow. And the one thing I've learned over the years is when something pops into your mind, and everybody should understand this, don't dismiss it. Huh. If it comes into your mind and you're not yeah. thinking about it, there's a reason. Yeah. So I kind of hashed it over for a few days, and I said, you know what? You're a former history teacher. Why don't you write some history books that everybody's oh, going to wow. read, not just people yeah. interested in history, mm -hmm. yeah. that you know, even the dimmest urchins are going to like. <laughs> Uh, and because I'm a simple man, I was able to carry it out. You always well, you want to reach the urchins. All right, from the live chat. Well, you popped in my head the other night. Uh, whoa! And so, uh -oh. oh my goodness gracious! Do I, I, should, I, try, I was like, I know I have the Riley Factor tomorrow. Oh my God. I shouldn't ignore it. No, don't ever. If I pop into your head, Andrea, <laughs> never ignore it. All right, Alex Delarge says, uh, "Bill brought me here. It's my first time on the live chat. Mm -hmm. So welcome oh, to him, good. and glad he's enjoying himself." Uh, yes, somebody says, does he know what the color wheel is? You actually <laughs> commented on the dress colors today. Oh my God. And I do the color wheel, this thing, this goofy thing, so that we don't all come out here in the same color. So they have to obey you? No, 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 no. Yes. You tell them? Uh, yeah. You better wear turquoise. Yes. Did you yeah. get your shoes on, uh, you on these two ladies over shoes here? Don't. The yeah. shoes are this plan little that. tiger thing going yeah. on. Oh, on, on the two <laughs> shoes. Now, I would have worn tiger shoes myself yeah, had I known. So we have to obey the color chart. I love that's really cute that you you call it tiger. It's really leopard. It's what? Leopard. 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 Another endangered yeah. species. Yeah. Bill, would you ever do? Uh, there were some reports, some musings that you w would do, maybe like a History Channel, bring more history to. Well, television. we're doing Legend and Lies on the yeah. Fox News Channel. Now that's coming Sunday up in April. Huh? Once we get by Killing Jesus, the movie, I'll start to promote Legends and Lies. It's a ten-part series on the West, the American West, mm -hmm. and what it was really like. Again. You know, I'm able to write because I don't care who I offend. And that's the key. I don't care who I offend. All right. The truth about Jesse James, Wild Bill Hickok, Davy Crockett, who never was called Davy. If you called him Davy, he would shoot you. Hmm. It was mm. David oh, Crockett. That's interesting. All right. Mm. All of those things. So that's going to debut on the Fox News Channel in April.
Legends and Lies on the weekends. And if that's a hit, then we'll expand the franchise. At 8 p.m., I'm your lead in with Fox Report. I know, that's Harrison. Pressure, it's, I demanded way. that. I wow. demanded Talk that. Talk about you, a color wheel. I'm I picking my love, dresses right now. No, you that. can't. You have to wear buckskin when we do <laughs> Really? Well, well, you know, I still be at home in Arizona. Don't tease about me. About killing Jesus. Have you had anyone come up to you and say, My life has changed because of this? I had letters. The, people don't really come up to me. They're frightened. Mm. Everybody's frightened. Because <laughs> you're so tall. Yeah, and I'm big and, you know, I'm usually grumpy. But I've had a lot of letters by people saying, you know, I, I finally understand now um, what Jesus is all about. Remember, we don't ever call Jesus Christ, not in the book and not in the movie, because Christ was attached to him mm -hmm. after the resurrection that he was the Messiah, the Redeemer. Mm -hmm. OK, that was never used in his lifetime, mm -hmm. although he did say to Pilate, and we have that uh, scene in the movie, that he is the son of God. He said that to Pilate. All right, because mm -hmm. Pilate asked him. Um, but Christ w came in after Jesus died. I That's never knew that. Very quickly oh. before we go, I got this question from our viewers on Twitter when they knew you were coming on. What is the key to being number one? I mean, you just mentioned, I don't care what people think, Tanteros, I read anything, I don't care. What is the key to Bill O'Reilly's success? Authenticity. I'm the same on the air as I am off the air. Not as verbose off the air. <laughs> but I, 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 I'm not... Up trying to sell you anything that is not genuine. Mm -hmm. That's number one. The show has been, we're in our 19th season, 15 at number one. That's awesome. Wow. And the Fox News channel, by the way, is the most highly rated new channel on cable of all the channels, mm -hmm. not wow. just on news. On the planet of cable. Right. And we kick the zombie channel's butt, and with the wrestlers, we throw them out of the ring. Um, <laughs> but the fact of success is built on authenticity. All right. I have a very good staff, as you guys know, because yep. you're on the program sometimes. And I do select people uh, to be contributors that I believe are uh, smart and honest. Mm -hmm. And if you're not honest, you get what Barney Frank got. All right, you don't want that. Uh, you'll get it. No, you lie, you don't. You, you you don't lie to factor that. viewers, no, no, and no. I will come right after you. You know what we want? You to come back. Oh, now they say that. The camera. But I don't even get paid for this. Yeah, I mean, this is like you, free. You no, you're, you haven't had lunch Spending yet. You don't know what's had, coming. Yeah. That's your payment. Great to have uh, you. Time. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, ladies, for putting up with me. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. All right. Okay, All right. we're going to roll out of here. We'll see you for the TV version of us tomorrow, noon Eastern, and then right back here on the web right after. Have a great day.